Trying to decide on which mechanical keyboard you should buy? Well, I have some of my top picks for you today. Specifically, we'll be looking at EUSO's keyboards, which are some of my favorite budget keyboards. And all of these keyboards are under $50 and as low as $25. So this is really just straight up budget mechanical keyboards. Keep in mind, this is not meant to be an in-depth review of each keyboard. I have full review videos on my channel showing everything, including all lighting modes, switches, and more, which I'll link below if you want to check out. In this video, we're gonna hit the highlights, so let's get into it. What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Our first keyboard is EUSO's Z686. It starts at $29.99. This keyboard is a steal. It's a 65% keyboard with 68 keys. Keep in mind, some say it's a 60% keyboard. I'm pretty sure it's 60%, which, you know, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but just keep in mind, it's either 60 or 65%. It comes in blue and red cherry equivalent switches. They are hot swappable with most three pin switches. It has 20 backlight modes. It's a wired keyboard, but comes with a detachable wire. It's lightweight at 1.23 pounds. It's also splash resistant, which is always a great feature if you eat and drink around it. So all these features are great, but let's talk about some things that I don't like as much. So pretty much the only big con for me is I'm not a big fan of the white keycaps. I mean, yeah, I kind of like them because it makes the lighting effects look a little bit nicer, but I overall am not a big white keycap fan which honestly isn't that big of a deal because you can just buy some keycaps and replace it. But if you're not trying to spend extra money, that is an extra step that you're gonna have to do. So just keep that in mind. Our next keyboard is EUSO's Z88. This keyboard comes in a price range of about $24.49 up to $49.99. And you might be thinking that is a wide price range. Why is it like that? Well, the reason it is, is because it has both a wireless option and a wired version. So the wired version is going to be on that lower end around $24.49 starting right around there. And then the wireless one goes all the way up to $49.99, which, you know, makes sense. This is a 60% keyboard with 81 keys. If you are familiar with mechanical keyboards, 60% is usually the go-to for a lot of people for gaming. It comes in blue and brown cherry equivalent switches, which are hot swappable with most three pin switches. It has nine backlight modes, so not as much as the previous one. Weighs about 1.4 pounds. It is splash resistant, has multiple color options, including black, white, and pink. As I already mentioned, it has a wired and a wireless version. I personally think the wireless option is just amazing, especially since it lets me free up a port and makes it more convenient for traveling. So all these features are great, but let's talk about some things I don't like as much. So I do wish there were more backlight options. I mean, personally, uh, I usually just find the one that I like and I just kind of stick to it. So it's not the biggest deal for me. For those of you who like a lot of variety, that might be a turnoff. So just keep that in mind because like I mentioned before, the previous keyboard has 20 backlight options, while this one only has 9. Alright, it's time for our last keyboard, which is EUSO's Z19. This keyboard comes in at $49.99, so it is the most expensive one that we'll be talking about, if you don't include the fact that the previous one was around that price range if you get it with the wireless option. But anyways, let's get back to the EUSO Z19. So not sure what the percent would be for this keyboard, but it is bigger than 60% with 94 keys. I mean, just looking at it, you can tell it is bigger. It comes in blue, brown, and red cherry equivalent switches. They are hot swappable with most three pin and five pin switches. It has 20 backlight modes. It's a wired keyboard, but comes with a detachable wire. It comes in at about two pounds. And the reason it weighs a little bit more is because the material that they use to make it is definitely higher quality. Like you can tell just by feeling this keyboard. It's also splash resistant. The keycaps come in white plus gray or black plus gray options. However, it looks like they may have discontinued the white gray variant. So most likely if you're buying this, you'll only be able to find the black and gray option, which personally I am completely fine with. So all these features are great, but let's talk about some things I don't like as much. So my only real con is I personally usually stick to 60% keyboards for gaming, but 
The fact that it has a secondary number pad can be helpful for some people. Personally, I like having my keyboards as compact as possible, so the 60% is usually my go-to. However, you can tell that the quality of this keyboard overall is going to be higher than the last two keyboards. So now that we've gone over all of these keyboards, let's do a quick guide on what are the biggest features for each EUSO keyboard that I consider to be the reason you might choose one of them over the other. But let's start with what they all have in common because you probably noticed that some of the things I said are very similar between them all. So some of the things that all of these EUSO keyboards have in common are that they are splash resistant, which again means you can eat, drink, get all messy around these keyboards and it should be okay. Now, I'm not saying you should submerge your keyboard into a tub of water, but you know, if you're drinking some water and spill some on it, it won't be the end of the world. And as you've noticed, it does have multiple switch options. All three are hot swappable, which for those of you who mostly wanna switch out your uh, switches in the future, that is a very important feature to have. And it has multiple light modes for all of them, some more than others, as I've kind of already stated earlier. Now, one thing I didn't mention, because this is just, I think, a given, is that they're also all anti-ghosting for whatever number of keys. Um, I didn't mention it because I felt like that was pretty obvious, so I just kind of left that out. But I went ahead and mentioned it here, just for those of you who wanted to know that information. So now let's talk about the pros for each one. So we're gonna start with the EUSO Z686. The biggest pro for this keyboard is that price. I mean, can you beat that price for a mechanical gaming keyboard? I personally don't think you're gonna find a quality keyboard like this for that price anywhere else, which is why I personally like to go to EUSO for all my budget keyboards. But yeah, that price, that price tag right there for the Z686 is just killer. The next one we have is the EUSO Z88. So some there's actually two things I think are kind of nice about this. For those of you who obviously if you're looking for a budget keyboard, you might not want to spend more on changing out the keycaps to a color you like. This one has all those keycap options. You know, they have the black, the white, the pink. You can choose whichever three that you like or from those three, whichever one you like. And we also have the wired and wireless options, which I think is the biggest draw because if you get the wireless version, you can use that wired, you can use a Bluetooth, you can use it with a 2.4 uh, Hertz dongle, which I personally don't use. I usually use it for the Bluetooth or the wired version if I need to just for charging it. But man, I think that is a huge draw to the EUSO Z88. And now for the EUSO Z19. I personally think the biggest draw is the three pin and five pin hot swappability of it, because that means that, and someone correct me if I'm wrong on this, I believe that means you can use pretty much 97% of all the switches that are available. Like 97% of them should work on this keyboard because most of the switches that you're gonna find are three pin and five pin, and it should just work on this. So you don't need to worry about, oh, is this keycap, or sorry, not keycap, is this switch necessarily gonna work or not on this keyboard? And I think this is more important for those of you who are planning on customizing this in the future and changing stuff out on it. Uh, for those of you who just want like a basic keyboard just to you know have for gaming that you don't wanna mess around with like as far as customizing it, then the Z686 is probably your go-to. But hopefully this whole guide was helpful in helping you decide which of these keyboards would be the best fit for you, especially for those of you on a budget, cause I know for those of you on a budget, it price really matters, but also quality matters and sometimes it's just a balancing act that's it for this video link to the products in the description below if you found the video helpful i love it if you could like and subscribe any questions leave a comment below as well thank you for watching